What is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean up your API gateway endpoint that looks a little bit something like this into something that looks much more professional, something that looks like what I have on the screen down below. Um, so this is a very common problem for people. They end up getting their API gateway endpoint set up, but they have this nasty URL. Uh, sure, everything works if we just take a look at what I have here. Um, this is just calling a Lambda function on the other side, but we have this nasty uh, prefix here and we wanna make it look much more professional. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Uh, it does require that you own your own domain uh, or you have your own domain registered. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be on your AWS account or the AWS account that you're working in, uh, but it'll certainly make things a lot easier. And if you don't know how to set up a domain, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description section uh, that shows you how to register um, the website that I'm to use AWS Simplify.io using Route 53, which is um, Amazon's or AWS's DNS or website registry or domain registrations uh, service. So uh, assuming that you have all that set up, there's going to be a couple services that we're going to interact with, one of them being Certificate Manager, the other one being Route 53, and of course, API Gateway. Um, so I already showed you what this API Gateway Endpoint does. It's very simple, but I also want to know like the other stuff that I have in this account, just so you're not lost in the later steps. Um, so I also have a dev stage set up for, if we go to resources actually. So I have a slash customers uh, resource and a get method on it. And I deployed that to my dev stage. And if you haven't done that before, um, you can do it one of two ways. I usually do it by going to resources, click on what you want to deploy, go to actions, and then click on deploy API. Then you can just fill out the settings there. Um, but anyways, what we want to do now in order to actually set up the custom domain name is we want to first of all go to this section here, custom domain names of API Gateway. If you don't know how to get here, um, if you're lost, you just go API Gateway and then um, well, the, the screen, they're changing the style right now, but uh, you want to click on custom domain names on the left hand side here. So you can see I don't have any domain names set up for API Gateway under this account. So that's the first thing we're going to try to do. And I say try because um, it's going to bring up an, another step that we need to do before we can complete this process. So let's go ahead and click on create here. And um, if we take a look at what it's asking for here, it's asking for a domain name. So custom domain name, uh, they're more simple and intuitive, of course. So uh, my domain name for this project is AWS Simplified.io. And we need to make a decision here on uh, what prefix we want to use for our API. So a standard is for people to do like API.AWS Simplified.io or uh, something of that nature. And I'm just gonna say, uh, my APIs for this example. Um, and then later what's gonna happen, like once we're all done this step, is we're gonna be able to do like slash customers and you know get, call the Lambda function or call our resource that way. But what we're doing is we're just registering um, this domain name uh, and that's what we're gonna be using when we make calls to our resources. Um, we want to leave everything else default here. So TLS 1.2, that is good. Um, and then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and then it's gonna ask us for endpoint configuration. And we're gonna set regional. If you're using um, Edge Optimized with CloudFront, this requires a slightly different setup, uh, which I'll make a separate video on in the future. And then it's asking us for an ACM certificate here. And ACM uh, stands for Amazon um, Certificate Manager, and it essentially allows you to create certificates so that you can support TLS uh, for a secure connection. So you're gonna need to set up a certificate that maps to this domain name. And I'm actually gonna uh, put that into my clipboard for now, because we're gonna need that in the next step here. Uh, so before we can proceed, we need to choose a certificate. So you see, I already have some ones that I've created here just when I was experimenting, but we don't have one called like my APIs, which is um, the, the domain that I want to uh, create for this exercise. So we can't use any of these, this won't work. So we need to go and create a new one. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on this button here, create ACM certificate. I'm gonna open this in a new tab so we can come back here. Um, and then um, this is kind of the home screen if you already have a certificate. So this is again, me testing something earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on request a certificate here, this blue button and we're gonna request a public certificate. And so we're gonna to go to the right and click on request. And this next section, it's gonna ask us for the domain names that we want to uh, associate this certificate with. 
So the domain name that you want to use is what we just created. And I believe here that you can use the existing certificate that you may already have that's registered against your domain name by just clicking, like finding that already existing certificate and clicking on add another name to the certificate. Um, but this is just assuming that you're coming at this from scratch, but feel free to modify this process a little bit here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And we are going to do what is called DNS validation to prove that we are the owner of this uh, domain name. Uh, now, it may seem intuitive. I'm already the owner because I have this registered in my account, uh, which I will show you in a moment. But this is a step that is required in the process. So we're going to keep DNS validation on here. Then I'm going to go to the right and click on next. It's asking us for tags. We don't care about tags here. Let's just go ahead and click on review. And everything looks good here. This is the right domain name. We're using DNS. Let's go ahead and click on confirm and request. So what is happening now is that this certificate got made, but you can see here that it's in a state called pending validation. And what that essentially means is that we need to go over to Route 53, which is the DNS section of uh, AWS, and essentially add a C name, which stands for canonical name, to um, prove that we are the owner of AWS Simplify.io. And I'm gonna walk you through this process in a moment here. Uh, so if we click on this little triangle here to uh, expand this, we can see that there is kind of um, some, some action going on. So it's asking us to add the following CNAME record to the DNS configuration for your domain. Um, and it gives us a name, the type, uh, and the value. So uh, before I go ahead and click this button, I just want to show you what our existing DNS setup looks like. And this is going to be like out of the box uh, if you were to just register a domain with AWS and Route 53. So I'm going to go to section uh, Route 53 in the AWS console. And then I'm going to click on hosted zone here. And we can see here I have my domain name AWS Simplify.io. And it only has two records currently. One is for namespace and one is for SOA. Uh, so this is default. This is what you get when you register a domain, as I mentioned. And I just want to prove to you here that we only have two records. So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is go back to the tab for um, ACM, our Amazon Certificate Manager. And what's going to happen is when I click this button, it's going to add a record over here in our uh, DNS entry uh, automatically for us, as opposed to us having to come here and do this manually. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this button now and just asking us to confirm. Remember that this starts with underscore five, seven, uh, click on create. And it's still pending validation, but let's take a look at our Route 53 tab. Just refreshing the thing here. And you can see now we have this entry that is in our um, DNS. So this is proving to um, AWS that we are the owner of this domain. So uh, shortly, in, like in a few moments, this should change from pending validation to like success or something like that. Uh, you. Yeah, so you can see it's still pending validation. Just click on refresh and you can see my APIs.AWS Simplify.io is now in the state of, oops, sorry, uh, is now in the state of issued. So that is our first step. That is fantastic. So let's go back to um, API Gateway now and, and choose the certificate. Now, unfortunately, we have to refresh the page here. So I'm just going to copy this um, and re-enter everything. So just pasting in what previously and then choose a certificate we can see my new one just popped up now my my api is aws simplified.io i'm going to click on that guy and then we're going to go to the bottom right here and click on create domain name okay so just give this a moment or so uh, okay perfect so what we get after this is we get some um, some information here in the bottom right. So we have our API Gateway domain name. So this is the kind of API Gateway endpoint that's going to be fronting our request. So it's going to be the destination that we're forwarding our request to uh, when we set up the DNS settings for this. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But before we do that, by the way, I'm just copying this to my clipboard because we're going to need it a little bit later. Um, and I'm going to go now to API mappings. And what this section essentially does is that it allows you to map, uh, well, it says right here, um, map paths from your domain name to your API stages. So this allows us to like map our dev um, stage to a specific URL. Um, so we're just going to map our, like I said, our dev stage to the AWS Simplified.io, uh, or sorry, my APIs.AWS Simplified.io. 
So let's go ahead and click on configure API domains. We're gonna click on add new mapping here. And then if you did everything right, if you click on this guy, your, um, your API gateway um, REST API should show up. Click on that guy. Go ahead and click on stage here. Uh, and like I said, we created the dev stage and then go ahead and click on save. So at this point, um, we've set up what we need to set up once this all completes. Uh, we set up everything that we need to from the API gateway perspective, but we have not completed the portion in terms of DNS settings. Um, so what we need to do now is go add one last record in our DNS to point our domain to this guy. And that's going to essentially give us the functionality so that when we go to this URL uh, with slash uh, customers, we're going to hit our Lambda function. So let's go to our row 53 tab really quick and I'll show you how to do that. So going there, um, let's click on refresh. Okay. Everything still looks good. I'm going to go and click on create record here, this orange button, and we're going to create a routing policy with simple routing. So just keep this uh, with the defaults, go ahead and click on next now. And we're going to say define simple record. And um, so we need to put the same name. So my APIs was what we were um, using in this example. Change this to your own. Uh, we're going to leave this on a record type. And the endpoint that we're going to choose is going to be API Gateway. So it's got autocomplete, so you can just find this one. Uh, this, this kind of auto matching makes this very convenient. You don't really need to remember values. Things just pop up by default for you. So it's very handy. Um, you also need to choose your region. If you don't know what region you're in, let me just show you really quick. Just going back to the API Gateway tab. If we look at the top right here, um, you click on North Virginia. This may say something else for if you're already in a different region. But if you click on that, um, this tells you all the different regions. And the one that's highlighted is the one that you're in. So I'm in US East 1. Um, so back to Route 53. So we're going to type in US East 1. And right. And then uh, we're going to choose our endpoint here. And if we take a look at this, um, d-rvs3 is what it auto-suggested. And we go back to API Gateway. That's the same value that we have here. So essentially, we're setting up our domain to point to this thing by creating this record that I am creating right now. Um, you can leave everything else as default. So we're going to define simple records and then go ahead and click on Create Records. So now this record is present, so we probably want to test this out just to make sure this is working from the DNS perspective. So I'm just going to copy this URL. Uh, I'm going to go to a website that helps me check DNS. So it's called DNS Checker, dnschecker.org. Um, so you can go here just to see if you have everything set up correctly. So I'm just going to put in my URL and we're going to leave it on A and we're going to click on search. And you see all these check marks here, which mean that our means that our DNS is being properly resolved. Now, I do want to point out that um, after you set everything up here with the record and uh, the API gateway custom domain name and the endpoint here, it can take a few minutes for this to actually work correctly. So, for example, if we open up a new tab, let me actually drag this down here. Uh, so you can see. So if we open up a new tab and do my APIs.AWS Simplified.io slash customers, this may not work right away, unfortunately. Oh, it does. Okay, so sometimes the DNS takes a little while to propagate. So if that happens to you, you may have to wait like five minutes or something. But we see here that everything is working. So now we have this custom URL um, and we have our REST API resource and uh, we got everything working correctly. If you want to learn more about AWS Lambda and API Gateway, check out this playlist on the right. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.